Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about human trafficking. Uh, I want to, uh, before we start, I want you guys to picture um, yourself being that person uh, coming from Mexico or any other country to the United States, not as a person of business, but as a human traffic slave. Uh, imagine what they go through, other problems that they have that they're leaving home and they're coming for a better, um, over here. Some come for a better life to for um, money-wise purposes, but others that don't make it die and become, um, as we call it, human slaves and human trafficking. So today, first, I will tell you about what human trafficking is. Second, I will tell you about what the people go through in the human trafficking. And third, I will just go on and tell you some statistics. So first, I want to show you a brief definition on what human trafficking is. It's the requirement, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of persons by means of threat, use, or force, and so on. And that's a definition from the UNDOC, which is the United Nations of Office and Drugs. Okay? So basically what they're saying is that anybody that is being trafficked is being into coming to a, another country illegally, as uh, for some of us, this is the majority of our parents. But they didn't come to, to be a human traffic. They came to for a better life. Uh, <clears throat> so these people, they go through a lot of stuff. They, uh, some of them, uh, because they come, they owe money. Some, they owe debts to other people. Uh, they debts, the same thing. Uh, they did something wrong, so it's like an honor thing that what they do now. Uh, so now that I've told you about what human trafficking is, I'm going to tell you about what people go through. Uh, in uh, human trafficking, people go through a lot of stuff, uh, especially from Mexico to the United States. I was watching a movie uh, like a year ago with my parents. It's a movie that's in Spanish. It's called Siete Soles, which means Seven Sons. And it's, show, it's a movie, like movie documentary kind of thing, where it shows uh, a lot of people trying to come over. Um, it's really, really, uh, to me, it was uh, emotional because I got to see what really happened. Because, um, as you guys know, that movie, um, the show on, on National Geographic, Border Wars, they don't show that part. They just show where they capture the, uh, the undocumented people that are coming over. They just show that what they, that how they captured them. Uh, this movie has showed everything that really people go through, especially today, because from Mexico, the people that are crossing the, over, that are being the guides to bring people, are the cartels. And in these travels, people, go through, like I said, go through a lot of hard stuff. Uh, one is dehydration, because they always say, the guides always tell them, oh, it's going to be a certain amount of days, but in the end, it's longer. Uh, babies die, because there's babies die because a lot of mothers come with their babies. Uh, kids die as well. Uh, they die of famine, of starvation. And what really got me the most is that the majority of these people, these guys, they uh, usually overrule their their people, the people that they bring over, trafficking, because they think that they know what's right. And what they really do the most is that they rape the women a lot, more in common than anybody else, because they have more as uh, more water, more food, and especially the mothers that have the babies, they are the ones that are getting raped because they need water for their baby or food for their baby. And that's just some of the things that really go through. And it's really, really tough because a lot of people go through this on a daily basis. Um, also, um, their, the ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, they do a research. They ask questions uh, to the people when they, when they get them on how to identify that someone has been human trafficking, trafficked. I just have two questions. There's a lot more. Uh, one of them is, does the victim have travel documents or ID? If not, who has control of them? Uh, the majority, uh, in the, like on the TV show, Net, uh, Border Wars, most of these people have um, documents. Some of them don't, but they still go through the whole process of being scanned to know who they are. And another one is, uh, did, the, did the victim travel to a destination country for a specific job or purpose 
and is victim engaged in different employment than expected. We're acting as a, uh, as some of our parents came to have a better job, to have a better life. Uh, not all of these people get to do that. Okay, and so that's what they're asking. Like, did this person come to have like, a better life? Is he doing anything? Like, they check the criminal records. And some of, and some of the people, like William said in his presentation, are prostituted. Some of them are uh, labor labor forces, <clears throat> and so many other things. And um, since I told you what uh, the people go through, third out, uh, now I'll give you I'm going on some statistics. This is just a general map of the world. Okay. <clears throat> what I found fascinating is that a high number of people that come to human trafficking illegally are from this part here, from Russia, China, and Eastern Europe, and I don't know what that country is, that country. And most of these people, uh, they go to, they are um, trafficked, obviously, to the United States, like always and some of in Europe and in Turkey and everybody else. Uh, that's the blue that's the blue representation is where they traffic in and the other colors are who where else did they go through. And what I found fascinating about this is that this is a a black market that brings in more than six hundred and fifty billion dollars a year. So that's just an estimate on it globally. And another thing well I found interesting is that here in the United States, uh, this is just a general graph of people who are being trafficked into the labor um, forces, uh, people that are doing the, uh, the, the picking of the fruit and all this stuff. 55% are Hispanic, uh, 1.6 are white, uh, almost 10% black, 14, 15 Asian, and 80% other. And the majority of this take half of what it is here. Uh, the majority, I would say like three fourths of it is women. So women are being uh, trafficked more than men, and that's just a general broad area. As in that coming to conclusion today, uh, we should uh, be thankful for what we have here, because a lot of people, uh, as you can see, go through a lot of things. And today I told you, um, I talked to you about what human trafficking is, what people go through, and some statistics on what human trafficking is. Thank you. Thank you, David. That gave us a lot of insight on human trafficking. Uh, pretty important topic, so let's start it off with questions. I have two questions for you. Why did you choose this topic? And I'll we'll start with that one. Uh, why did I choose this topic? Well, because um, my parents came to this country illegally from Mexico, and they didn't go through what uh, people do today. Um, back then, they told me that they just crossed the border just with some papers. And they just crossed. That was my mom. Uh, my dad, he actually uh, jumped the border into San Diego and then ended up there. Did okay. Next. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> our next question is So, is it human trafficking more to do with like sexual, like tricking? Because when you think of human trafficking, you think of like women and prostitution, like you know, kind of making them yeah. work out their debt, or is it more they make them come over here to do manual labor to work off a of debt? Or, it's both, <coughs> but the majority is to come up to do manual labor, mm -hmm. and then the rest is prostitution. Yeah. I know the numbers are really high, but did you see anything that said that they should actually be higher? Because you can't really tell them. Uh, no, the last time I checked, that was from the, uh, what was it, the undocumented, I think it was organization. It's also on the website. And that was pretty recent, that those numbers were pretty recent. <coughs> Uh, there's no specific time frame because it's been around since ancient times. You know, like the Romans, they would go into battle, bring people into their countries and bring them slaves. So there's actually never a time set that just happened. <coughs> you said the majority was women. Yeah. Um, what age range of women? Uh, I'm saying go. from from women is usually from teens, usually from 15 to like, I want to say uh, 20 somethings, early late 20s, early 30s. And for men, it's just a wide variety of uh, ages. Is it different for 
for labor and then um, the sexual trafficking? Yeah, it's way different. So the like, sexual trafficking is women, um, girls, like 16, 17, that's when they start. And so like they're in the late 20s. And then that's when they're, some of them are debtors, but not all of them. But for labor, labor, it's just for everybody of ages. Um, I saw the numbers. There were fourteen percent Asian and another like nineteen percent other, yeah. or eighteen. Um, it's very popular because of the show on uh, National Ge Geographic that they jump the border or whatever. Did you find any other sources or ways that they bring people in? Um, well, I know from Cuba that they come in boats from Cuba to Florida. Yeah, they come in boats. They come um, through trailers. There's all sorts of uh, kinds that they they go through. They have like trailers, boats. Um, <coughs> Sometimes through aircraft for some reason. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, let's hear it for